Yeah, the, like flow, the momentum. The yeah, you the get momentum. momentum. You get momentum. Because listen, listen. They think this is something. This is marvelous. This uh, campus of the half month. But God's got greater for us. God's got greater for Apostle yeah. Taylor. God didn't shut him in for three years just to give him this. This is just the beginning. This is the initiation. Yeah. This is not the. This is not the uh, t determination. Uh, uh, yes, the Bishop. Beginning. The beginning. Yeah, yeah. B Bishop. I'm telling you. I know that what you're saying because see, the Lord came to me in a dream and said He was going to give me 400 million to build a hundred thousand seat stadium and other things. A whole, almost a whole mini city, a massive uh, uh, amphitheater, a skyscraper another uh, executive campus on that on those lands and hotels uh, uh, development of a whole land and putting a museum of all the old saints and the ancient ones all the way into the modern where it's a museum where all the body of christ can come and study and see the great men and women of god and catch their anointing understand what they did but not only that theme parks for the kids god told me in a dream he would give me the money to build this and that's why I've been in here for three years. I said, God, I'm not going to come out until you give me complete wisdom for the rest of my assignment. Because you told me I would shake America, that which that's about to get ready to happen. But you told me other things would take place. So you got to understand, my mind, like Bishop said, it ain't even just on this campus. This is the beginning of something big. You understand? But I am telling you, I'm going to build, the Lord told me in a dream, a 100,000 seat stadium for his glory. And the masses will come from all over the world to this place. And so, Bishop, I'm telling you, I, I need them to see in JMMI and also the face-to-face -face movement and all my sons and daughters around the world. You need to understand how massive this is. This is global. The world is coming to America. There's a move of God coming to America, and we got to build a big ship. It's already a big ship, but we got to manifest what can hold the souls. Go ahead, Bishop. That was powerful. And you know when you said ship, you know what I heard? When you said ship, I heard leadership. Leadership. The ship is called leaders, laborers. Those are what guide the ship. We need leadership. We need laborers. We need those that are on staff. We need those that are coming to this campus of the harvest. Just anybody's not qualified. No. Not anybody's qualified. You, you, we, see, the church, this is the weakness of the church compared to the kingdom the church operates in emotion feelings the kingdom operates in position authority power and glory hallelujah hallelujah so so the church folks they so emotional and and and, and got the uh, chip on their shoulder but when you deal with kingdom this is for this is for authority this is for glory we don't we don't play with the emotion so people say well yeah. you, you know uh, you just get, get them in there for free and let them sit there and do nothing for free that's not kingdom no that's not kingdom Hallelujah. we don't give hands out we lay hands on <laughs> that's right <laughs> we'll give hands out this ain't no lunch ham and cheese sandwich line <laughs> With this is I'm gonna tell you hands on. This is not hands out. That's powerful. Hands on. Bishop. Hands on that phone. Hands on what you have to do. Hands on your obligation. Hands on your responsibility. Get your hands on. This ain't hands out. This is for right. hands on ministry. This is for labor. This is get your hands on the phone. Get your hands what you have to do. Whatever the commission of God upon your life. Whatever whatever the instructions of the Father. Whatever the instruction of the King. Whatever instructions. He got the key. He's got the key. He's not trying to get the key mailed to him. He's already had it. He knows how to unlock it. He knows what's coming. He spent three years in it. Hallelujah. And now God says, Hallelujah. even greater, even greater, even greater, even greater, even greater, even greater is coming. And God said, Hallelujah. I'm getting ready. And God's getting ready to literally, Apostle, I saw this by the Spirit. He's getting ready to revamp your labor. He's getting to revamp the labors around you. He's getting ready Hallelujah. to perfect. He's going to perfect them. Those that will be willing to be perfected. Those that won't be perfected will be rejected. 
Hallelujah. It's simple as that. Hallelujah. This ain't emotion. Oh ain't that time for emotion. Wow. They, we, don't, we don't have time for emotion. If they won't be perfected, they'll be ejected. They'll See, be the rejected. church, that's wow. what's wrong with the church. That's why we're so weak. That's why these pastors yeah. are weak because they're so yeah. full of emotion who trying to keep people from getting their feelings hurt. This ain't about feeling. This is about faith. Yes, that's right. So if you, don't, if you don't want to be perfected, you're going to be ejected. Just as simple as that. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. 